must refuse to be broke. No broke person can do much for God. I'm telling you. Because Papa God is rich. And you know, there are a lot of Christians, they, they, they are scared of talking about being rich. But that's the reason, that's the reason the devil has put them in bondage. And then they work from Monday, some of them to Sunday. All right, they close from church and run off to work. Some of them have two or three jobs. And then they say, don't talk about money. Can anybody be more of a fanatic than that? You work seven days a week, in fact, eight days a week for you. To try to get money, and then I try to tell you how to get it without sweating. <laughs> you know, there's dignity in labor. Don't work for money. A lot of people work for money. They're suffering. Don't work for money. Let money work for you. Don't work for money. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You still there? Hallelujah. I see many of you right now. You, you've been working so hard. I can see it on your faces. You've been toiling so hard. I know. You know because 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 a lot of you, your parents told you work hard. You're gonna be what you're gonna be worth anything in life. Work hard. But what you need, the Bible says, God gives to a man that's good before him wisdom, knowledge, and joy. Wisdom, knowledge, and joy. That's what God gives. How much work can you do? The poor men of this world are the most hard-working people. <laughs> I work hard, but my kind of working hard is very different. I'm telling you. I work from a position of rest. Don't work for money. I refused a long time ago to be broke. And that's one thing I've got to tell you. Refuse to be broke. Make up your mind. See, I don't mind some Christians, you know, they say they don't, they don't like ministers of the gospel that talk about prosperity. They say they don't like them. I have no apologies. See, if you do the kind of things that I do, you would know why you ought to have money. Sure, we have television programs running into many countries in the world and we pay in advance, never behind. You know what that means? You've got to be loaded to get those things done. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have millions of people hitting our website. You get on our website, you know it's not a website for kids. And what I mean, kids, I mean for those who are jokers. But little children, I know they're listening to me. Little children love our website. Sure, we've got something for kids there. Kids, kids, you understand? Not kids, kids. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, what I'm sharing with you. See, the Bible says, uh, a poor man, even though he has great words and he can deliver a city, he says, because he's poor, his words are not heard. Now, the message I'm sharing with you here, millions around the world will hear this message. Can you see? No, no, think about it. It takes money to pass it around. And millions are going to see this program. Think about it. In all five continents. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you see, when I, when, I, when I take the microphone and I want to make a statement, I know it's got to count. 
because I'm not just talking to those of you I'm seeing here. Uh uh-uh, uh, make no mistakes about it. I am aware I'm talking to millions of people right now. So that's that that's something. See? So you can't afford to be broke. You can't afford it. <laughs> And now you say, no, just tell me what to do. I don't want to be broke no more. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why I'm teaching you this stuff. By the acknowledging. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. The acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. There's something good inside you. Learning to bring it out. Learning to understand it. And how to use it. Oh, glory to God. I like it. The Holy Ghost has come into your life. To make you aware of God's goodness. He's brought you into God's place. Into God's house. And He says, hey, look around. Plus that, the Bible says you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. So you are the house of God. He wants you to look inside too. This house of God that he has made you to be. What's inside the house? Tell somebody, look inside the house. What you're looking for outside is inside the house. It's inside the house. <laughs> woo the house. It's inside the house. Look inside. 